Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to learn how to use the eraser tool. So to activate the eraser tool, you can click here on this eraser or you can press E on your keyboard to activate the eraser tool. So get into the habit of using shortcuts again. Use E for eraser, F for offset and spacebar for the spacebar tool. Of course, you have rectangle as well, which is R and finally line tool, which is L. So don't forget those shortcuts. You would find it in the PDF as well. Do get in the habit and you will see your SketchUp modeling workflow get faster and faster. All right, so once you activate the eraser tool, you can start deleting stuff in your canvas in the viewport. All you need to do is click and drag. So only for this tool, you need to click and drag in SketchUp. The other tools, you don't really need to click and drag. So you can simply click and drag to delete the lines and faces. Now there's another way to delete stuff in SketchUp and that is by using the select tool. So press space bar. You can simply select the face on SketchUp and click on delete here as well. Now, for example, if I want to delete this, I'm going to make a box selection from right to left to select those two edges and the face and press delete. So now I'm going to press undo because I don't want to really delete them. But that is just to show you how to delete stuff in SketchUp. Now, let's say you're deleting stuff and you accidentally deleted these two lines. That's not what you wanted. So all you need to do is press escape when you are still holding the eraser button and it will just get out of the command. So if I'm deleting by pressing the left click and not releasing, and if I press the escape key, you can see that I go out of the command and I don't delete the stuff. So one last time, if you want to delete stuff using the eraser tool, left click, drag, and then release your left key. So you can delete stuff in SketchUp. In the next video, we'll learn how to use materials and start painting and stuff in SketchUp. You can also go ahead and create multiple shapes and sizes so that we have a canvas and then we can paint on top of this. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.